welcome all today in this video i am going to tell you that how you can find the broken links or you can say hyperlinks in your web application using selenium automation so for that purpose i have taken this uh, web application here we can see the hyperlink selenium soapi jmeter rest assured cucumber and postman so first of all i will show you that when i click on uh, these links like selenium yeah it's working soapi it's not working so how i come to know that it's not working when i click on this link i am getting the response 404 same i can do with jmeter it's working rest assured it's not working 404 is there cucumber not working and last is postman so in the same way you can say whenever you are going to automate any application in your application there can be so many hyperlink so now the question is that how you can find using selenium automation that which link is broken and which link is valid so you can see here whenever i am clicking on a link so if i right click on it and will inspect it you will see actually every hyperlink contains ever every hyperlink is specified by a tag that is called a you can say this is the tag name a a tag name is used for hyperlink second things you will see that whenever i click on hyperlink what it do actually it goes to the href section so href is selenium.html so this is the href and you will see whenever i click on any hyperlink it takes the or you can say go through the path of href so that's why you will see here when i am clicking on href it is going to this link so it is going to the this link let me again show you this thing so here you can say it is going to the selenium.html so this is the complete path on the server which is actually you can say given by the href so it means at run time we can check that whenever i am trying to fetch this link it is giving me a valid response or it is giving me a 404 so this is the logic behind finding this particular hyperlinks whether it is broken or not so now let me come to the program this is a program here in this program i have just opened the browser then i have enter the application url okay in which i want to find the broken links then i use a special uh, you can say class that is http url connection for that i have already taken a import java.net.st tp url connection then i have called a function driver dot find elements by dot tag name so when i am calling this function driver dot find element by dot tag name it will return all the elements all the web elements on the page using the tag name as a means hyperlinks so i have stored in a hyperlink uh, list variable which is actually list of web element then i uh, you can say use a for each loop in for each loop this is the all hyperlink list and here i have declared a variable hyperlink so one by one what will happen when this loop will run it will fetch one by one every hyperlink so in this hyperlink i have just called a function get attribute href so what is the purpose of this href so that i have shown you that actually href is the you can say attribute which tells you what is the url it will trigger when you click on a hyperlink so one by one i am getting hyperlink dot get at, uh, attribute href so i have just stored the url in the form of string here now uh, what i am doing i am going to convert this string url into the actual url so how i can do it we have used a class url that is also i have imported here java dot net dot url so using this uh, you can see url class i have converted this uh, string url into the actual url now when i have got this actual url i call a function actual url dot open connection this function is available in the this url class so i call the function actual url dot open connection so what it it will do it will create a connection it will create a connection for this particular url what what is the purpose of this open connection so that i can hit it so that i can hit a request on this particular url because this is a method of you can say uh, you can say this is a http url so i have converted into the http url and it is called type casting so actual url dot open connection will give the you can say connection i converted it into the http url connection then i call the uh, then i call the uh, set request method and pass it head so i pass the method head you have to pass the method head and the last is ht uh, you can say huc dot connect okay so uh, using hcu dot connect it will connect to the you can say it will hit the url so now when it hit the url i have just called the function huc means this is hyper you uh, 
url connection i call the method get response call so uh, actually you can say in the previous line when this line will run it will automatically hit the request to trigger that url and it will return the response code with the help of this one so i just stored the response code here and now i'm checking if the response is greater than or equal to 400 it means link is broken it means because you we know that if the it will is a broken link you can say it will never give you a 200 something like that okay so it will always go 400 or greater than that so i've checked it if response code is greater than or equal to 400 it means my link is broken so i printed this thing url whatever url uh it will uh, just try to trigger and if it is broken it will be printed else condition if it is not greater than equal to 400 it means it is a valid url so now let me run this program and you will see in the console it will print this and the, in that case we will find it how many urls are broken and how many uh, urls are valid so it ran the url let me minimize it and let me show you this one so you can see here easily that uh, selenium html is valid uh, as we have seen manually also it is a valid so pi was broken uh, we find it here jmeter is valid rest assured was broken that we are finding here cucumber is broken we find it here postman is valid so you can see here whatever whatever links were valid we found it with the help of this code okay so for your if you want to use my code you can copy this whole code from the description of this video and you can use in your program only you have to change the this application url or the page if you like the video if you like the content you can click on the like button you can put your valuable comments also and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it. Thank you.